Audrina Patridge files for divorce from Corey Bogan and obtains domestic violence restraining order. It's over between Audrina Patridge and Corey Bogan, who she accuses of domestic violence. The Hill star on Monday obtained a temporary restraining order against her husband and on Wednesday filed for divorce, court records show. The two have been married for 10 months and share a one-year-old daughter, Kira Mex. Audrina's number one priority is her daughter and she asks for privacy at this time, Patridge is read, told E. News in a statement on Thursday. Bogan has not commented. According to court documents, Patridge sought protection for both her and Kira. She states that Bogan has become increasingly possessive, angry, agitated and jealous of her work and travel schedule. Nowadays, she keeps busy with her swimwear company, Prey Swim. His aggressive behavior usually escalates whenever I am paying attention to work obligations, rather than to him, the documents state. When we are apart, he texts me obsessively, rattling my nerves and making it difficult for me to concentrate on my work commitments. His harassing behavior has recently become so extreme that I physically separated from him a few weeks ago, she added. I am fearful of both an ass temper because he cannot control his swearing and personal attacks on me, even when in the presence of our young daughter. Furthermore, as set forth below, his aggressiveness last month became so extreme he became physically violent. Patridge believes there is a risk of both an abducting Kira and taking her to Australia, where his family lives. Patridge said that Bohan visited them in February and remained there for a month, while calling and texting her to demand to talk to their daughter. I am very concerned, especially since he has our daughter's birth certificate, that he might obtain a passport for her and take her to Australia without my consent, she stated in the documents. Patridge accuses Bohan of acting jealous, possessive and aggressive towards her. Patridge stated that in July that Bohan was jealous I was out with people. He accused me of partying and cheating on him and threatened to kill himself. I was very shaken by the texts, mostly because Kira was with him. In August, she said Bohan ransacked her belongings and looked through her Google search history on her computer. I looked in his suitcase and found our marriage certificate and Kira's birth certificate, she said. I confronted him about this and he laughed at me. She also cites an incident in which Bohan allegedly acted very aggressive, arguing following the her around the house all because I refused to tell him which person told me that he cheated on me with another woman. She said at one point, he locked the door and pushed her back while she was holding Kira. I begged him to please let me go and take Kira somewhere else, Patridge said. I didn't want her around all this. He then picked up my backpack and purse and threw everything on the floor. He started punching and hitting himself on the head. Then he punched a hole in our bedroom door. I was very frightened and started screaming and covered Kira's eyes and ears, but she started crying and screaming. Bogan then let me pass, and ran downstairs in front of me and grabbed a big metal canister, saying if I left right now, he was going to bash his head in with the canister right in front of us or better yet he would do it in the street so. Everyone could hear that it was all my fault. Patridge states that in September, she and Bogan got into a confrontation in front of Kira during which Bohan told her how f cat I am from my childhood, and it must have been really bad because I'm so f cat up. At that point I started recording what he was saying to me on my phone and he then said he was waiting for me to grow some balls and pull the trigger and file for divorce because once I do he is ready and has his documents already and I'm going to be f cat, Patridge said. He then took my phone and deleted the video. I told him he was scaring me and I was going to call the police. She said she did call the police and that Copes arrived at the house, after which her dad babysat Kira while she talked to the officers and filed a police report. She said she spent the night at her parents' house and that Bohan texted her that night, saying he loves her. She said she was later contacted by Child Protective Services and met with them on September 15. She said that a day later, Bohan texted and called her all day while she was at a shopping mall for a beauty panel speaking gig. She said he followed her around, asking where Kira was and saying he was going to get her. I was shaking at this point, Patridge said. A hearing has been scheduled for October. To be clear the domestic violence restraining order is not a strategic filing. It's very difficult for people to go public with these issues, Patridge's attorney Elizabeth Necro told E. News. It wasn't done to her Corey or to gain an advantage, 
It was done to protect their child and to protect MF. Patridge and that's it. Patridge and Bowden have been together on and off since 2008. They have not commented publicly about their split, which comes as a surprise as the family has appeared happy and united in Instagram photos as recently as August. Patridge wet Bowden, a professional BMX rider. In November 2016 in an intimate ceremony in Hawaii in front of 100 of their closest family and friends, five months after the reality star gave birth to Kira and a year after the couple got engaged.